Shh, you're going to have to wait a second. I always, I always like that nanny asks about me when she's on the phone or swapping or Karen. And she's like, she's so thoughtful. And Karen, too. Yeah. None of us would. <laughs> you know? right. I mean, I'd be in trouble. So. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I thought we were talking like I watch. I'm thankful that they've always been as generous as they've been because I wouldn't be able to have nothing I got if it wasn't for both of them, mm -hmm. you know? Yes, and very good money managers. Can I, can I say something? Yeah. Okay. I think we're more in love now than we've ever been. It's oh. been 57 years. Oh. We just got to keep hanging on. Only 50 more years. Um, you know. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I guess being the oldest grandchild comes with a lot, arrogant. a lot of responsibilities. And I know I, I kind of set the standard pretty high for y'all, but um, I, I, I'll start with Paul. Um, we would always joke that he had better attendance at basketball practice than than half the girls. Uh, <laughs> So when I think about it, and when you call him, says, Sydney, my girl, what are you doing? Uh, and I don't know, that's a, a comfort. That, that's, a, that's a happy sound. And my sweet little nanny, she's so precious. And I think that it was... Um, <laughs> Larry Hicks had told Eli that every um, girl is a little bit trashy, and Eli said, not my nanny. <laughs> and I, I follow in your footsteps. <laughs> um, Just lock her. Just lock her. No, but, but honestly. You're looking at storm pads. <laughs> I... I know if I call that you'll be there. If I know if I need you to come, you'll come. You uh, bring little Valentine's to my kids at school. And I'm thankful for you. Thank you, Sadie. Sweetie. I love you. Love all of you. I want a hug from every one of you. <laughs> I appreciate the example of love that you guys have. I mean, to each other and to your family, to everybody you meet, you just, you're nice, sweet, love them, show them love and kindness. I appreciate it. If, if Jonelle and Dana D. Young, if that is mentioned, there's nothing negative to say. There's nothing that anybody can say morally or, or that, you know, it, what an example. <laughs> Same turn. I went by the house there, and I went past too far, and the Harden girls and the mama was on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, golly, she's got some big sisters or mama. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, it's going to be a lot of work to keep them from getting so fast. She can't <laughs> but then I met Jonelle. She was beautiful. She still is beautiful. I was happy about that. <laughs> it's a good thing to say. It's a good thing to say. <laughs> You're not mad at the <laughs> 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 oh. I appreciate 
That's what I was going to say. It's not. I said the bar pretty low. Yeah. <laughs> he should feel that good about his self. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been recorded by Yeah, one. yeah. I'm thankful for Nanny and Pop for passing down their musical abilities down to me. We're, we are thankful for you for taking that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, if it wasn't for Pop Lola especially, I don't know what. I would do without his big stack of doctoring knives down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably owing hundreds of money in I've been paying for them. <laughs> <laughs> Lily? Yeah. Yeah. I just love how she always teaches the piano because she's a good pianist and how she's always loving and caring and always prays for Oh, I'm thankful for Joe Hill and Dana Dean for always treating me like I was part of the family. Mark stole mine. But they always, all, it's just like Sidney says, every time I see Joe, or Dana Dean at school, he always speaks to me and Jonelle and calls me and just always treats me like Saves I'm your friend. picture in the paper. Yep, saves my picture in the paper and treats me like I'm part of the family, and I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm thankful for them. <laughs> so thankful. Um, like Sydney was talking about sports, I remember even when I played ball, it was at all our practices, all the games, taught me how to swim and how to find the fine beadwood leaves. Uh, yeah. Bone set. I would have never made it through high school math if he hadn't sat there mm-hmm. tutored me through algebra and geometry. Um, Didn't know how to do it. And uh, I know when I would come home on the weekends from college and uh, – Sandra, me, and you, and we'd want to sit right there with Mom, and we'd want to talk about everybody, and if Daddy walked in the room, we hushed, because <laughs> he never said a bad word about anybody, uh, and so I think he's been the a perfect example. Um, Mom, I always remember, I always, as uh, long as I can remember, you were up early reading your Bible and praying, and that was such an example for me that... Uh, taught me that that's what I need to do. I could always talk to you about anything. You always have a great listening ear. Um, you all have always helped me. I mean, financially, every every way. <laughs> and I thank you and I love you with all my heart. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, 